Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and so I hope that you're all doing really great today and so I'll be briefing you guys on what is happening across the tropics and what is expected in terms of possible development in the long run and so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. Alright, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening across the Caribbean and we're seeing here that there is quite a bit of moisture across the area. We see some scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, just outside the region right there and there's also a trough that is located in the vicinity of Puerto Rico and so that could induce some increased precipitation across the country. But as for some other areas such as Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands and other parts of the Western Caribbean, there's not too much going on right now but for the south caribbean we're definitely seeing all of that moisture inducing showers and thunderstorms across the area the south caribbean is a region that is usually watched for possible development in the month of november and especially looking at this map right here so we could typically see development within the area and then storms making their way up to the northwestern part of the region and crossing over into the bahamas and uh, we also see that storms could develop out in the open Atlantic but of course uh, this doesn't mean that storms can't develop elsewhere it's just the usual track of them and uh, we typically don't see much happening in the month of November as well however we have the GFS model that is expecting that we could possibly see something and it ties in with what I uh, mentioned in my previous updates videos in terms of the climate prediction center highlighting uh, the western Caribbean with a low chance of something developing within the area. Looking at the conditions now, so in terms of the sea surface temperatures, things are pretty warm across the Caribbean to allow for development but of course other factors need to be conducive in order for us to really see something and so uh, looking at the wind shear map right now we have the red lines that indicate uh, strong upper level winds so that is quite unfavorable for us to see development and then the yellow lines indicate neutral shear meanwhile the green indicates favorable shear so if the wind shear is uh not really favorable across the south caribbean or the western caribbean then it isn't likely that we're going to be seeing anything significant across the area and then uh in terms of the moisture now across the caribbean and so we are seeing that we have these different colors we have the yellow and we have the oranges so those indicate dry stable conditions meanwhile those whites and greens indicate moisture and so uh, we're seeing that for the Western Caribbean and also over the Gulf of Mexico we're definitely seeing some dry stable conditions and wherever you see those uh, it isn't likely that there's going to be much shower activity taking place because uh, showers and thunderstorms they, de they depend on instability in order to develop but as for the rest of the Caribbean there is some dry air cross sections of the Eastern Caribbean and also out in the open Atlantic but for the most part uh, nothing significant is going on right now uh, nothing very major across the area. And then in terms of that possible development, so we'll be looking at the GFS and the Euro models and so we're going to be starting out with GFS and we're seeing here that uh, we have these different colors. We have the brown that indicates those uh, that indicates those dry stable conditions. Meanwhile, the teals indicate moisture and so we are seeing that as we're going to be heading into the end of this week, we're seeing all of that increased moisture across the South Caribbean and the GFS showing that we could possibly see something trying to develop there so that is quite interesting it certainly is not impossible as I said uh, we typically have storms originating from the Caribbean but development only takes place if conditions are conducive to allow for it to happen but in terms of the euro the euro is not really expecting anything to develop so heading to the end of this week going to Friday and Saturday we're seeing here that the model is expecting that we're gonna have all of these dry stable conditions making their way across the Caribbean Caribbean and the model is not showing much happening at all in the area so uh, as I said once we have those unfavorable conditions then it isn't likely that we're going to be seeing too much happening so uh, the ideal conditions for tropical cyclone development are uh, favorable or level winds as well as a lot of moisture and warm sea surface temperatures but of course as we progress later in this month we'll see if there is more of the probability for us to have development 
in the region and of course guys i'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be worthwhile